today's the day. <laughs> today we are swapping out this 100 amp service and we're going for 200 amps. So I just wanted to uh, get a picture of what it looked like before. This is our before shot here of the 100 amp service and the electrician's over. We, you can see he's already got the uh, new service uh, lead-in wire here. This is going to be connected to the new 200 amp uh, breaker box. But yeah, that's my uh, 100 amp right there and that is soon to be replaced. And here's what it looks like on the outside. This is the new 200 amp service being installed. You can already see all the prep work that he's already done. And it goes up through the roof. That's the uh, point of attachment up there. Obviously it's not attached right now because the uh, old one is still hooked up. But uh, once the uh, power company comes out, they're going to disconnect the uh, old service and reattach it to there and we'll be all hooked up for the new 200 amp service. All to power the uh, car over here. <laughs> Thought I'd get a shot real quick inside on the uh, 200 amp service. This is the new uh, breaker panel. As you can see, it's nicely put together. You can see all the wires are nice and neat. If, if I had only had a before shot down here, this was, here's our old service. When he opened this up, you should have seen the nightmare. The wires, they were just like spaghetti looped back and forth and then connected. There was like no room to, to, you know, manage anything in there. It was just, it was crazy. I guess the only plus side to that was he had more than enough uh, cabling so he could straighten everything out and make things come down, you know, nice and neat and straight over. So, so yeah, this, this is looking a lot better than the, um, than the one we had before and, and you can see the, the futures so I can put plenty of more breakers in here if need be. And here we have the finished breaker panel. You can see I've got the 200 amp service, there's the main, and I've got all of my breakers, and we've got room for expansion. And here's a quick shot of what it looks like on the outside. We've relocated the meter to the front of the house, but what's cool is it now goes up through the roof, and it's a little bit higher than it was before, but that's safer. And it's going to make it a lot easier too for me in the winter when I'm clearing snow off of that roof. And last but not least, this is the electric car charging station I got. You can see I've got the juice box hooked up to the NEMA 1450 receptacle outlet I just had installed. And the whole purpose to that was so that I don't have to use the regular 110 anymore. I can charge the car a lot quicker and it's just a lot more convenient. So that's the whole reason why we upgraded from the 100 amp service to the 200.